Welcome to Lovers of Jesus Ministries International. The message you are about to hear is from the Lord's anointed Dr. Edward Irobi, the man with the mandate to proclaim the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and to raise an army for the Lord in this end time. So let's go to the last portion before we, we conclude. This last section is titled Description of the Holy Ghost based in the, some passages uh, of the scriptures. If you check the Holy Scriptures, there are several ways the Holy Spirit's oppressions have been described. We just want to pinpoint some of them and then we pray. I know the Lord is blessing you. Amen. So in the Holy Scriptures, we can see that the Holy Spirit is omnipresent. I want you to ponder on that. Do you know that the eternal spirit of Jehovah, the creator of all things, both visible and invisible, that the Holy Spirit is omnipresent. That's why I informed us earlier on that he is the spirit of the father. He is the spirit of the son of God. He existed before the beginning. He is eternal. And because he's eternal, because he is sovereign also, he is omnipresent. Whether you are in your bedroom sobbing, crying, whether you are in your office, whether you are driving your vehicle, whether you are in your shower room, you are taking your shower and you are singing that beautiful worship song unto the Lord. I want you to know that the Holy Ghost is there with you. He is omnipresent. In the turbulent situation, when it seems that all friends have deserted you, when it seems that you are lonely, nobody, you can you are afraid of confiding into somebody. Everybody, they have all betrayed you. You are walking as a loner. The Lord is saying, hey, daughter, I am omnipresent. I know I am there with you. Let's check the word of the Lord. In the book of uh, Psalm chapter 139, verses 7 to 13. Psalms 139, 7 to 13. Whither shall I go from, the, from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? David was saying, If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bird in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. Hmm. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yeah, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and light are both light. To thee, for thou hast pro, for thou hast possessed my reins; thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. That's the word of David. David talking about the Holy Ghost. David talking about the greatness of the Holy Spirit. That the Spirit of the Lord is so many present. He could not run to any place without the Lord locating him. The Lord is with you wherever you are. Then another description of the Holy Spirit is that in the scriptures, the Holy Spirit has been described as omnipotent. Mm -hmm. Omnipotent. He can do all things. With him, nothing is heard. The spirit of truth is omnipotent. The spirit of the Lord is omnipotent. Let's check the word of the Lord in the book of Luke chapter 1. We are rounding up very soon. Luke chapter 1 verse 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, the angel of the Lord talking to Mary, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God, omnipotent God. Just imagine a virgin without knowing a man conceiving a son. Mm. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Do you know what the word of the Lord says? He who gave us his son, will he not give us all things? And the scriptures also say that he had already given us all that pertains to life and to godliness. You are God is so omnipotent. Do you know that? If you know that your God is so omnipotent, what should make you afraid? 
Don't you think he can do all things? Don't you think he can provide your financial needs? Don't you think he can take care of your bodily healing? The Lord is omnipotent. And because the Lord is omnipotent, he wants us to appreciate this attribute of the Spirit of the Lord so that our faith in him will be very strong in Jesus' name. Amen. Another way the, script, the, the Spirit of the Lord has been described in the Holy Scriptures is that the world cannot receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The world cannot receive the Holy Spirit. I want you to think about that. This, the world cannot receive the Holy Spirit because the world does not know him. The world cannot receive the Holy Spirit. Let's check the word of the Lord in the book of John chapter 14, verse 17. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. The world cannot receive the Holy Spirit. That's why people living in sin, you cannot feel the presence of the Holy Spirit because of sin. The Spirit of the Lord hates sin. Whenever he sees sin, he walks away. The Spirit of the Lord walks away from sin. And what that's what he's calling on to his people today. Come closer unto me. You want to live a holy life. You have been saying, Lord, I want to live a righteous life. I want to live a pure life. God is saying the way to purity, the way to righteous living, the way to a holy living is what? Getting closer to the Holy Spirit. When you get closer to him, he will do all this in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Another way the scriptures describes the Holy Spirit is that the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father. He comes from the Father. You remember the Lord Jesus told his disciples this in the book of John chapter 14 verse 17. We read, Even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. The Spirit of the Lord comes from God the Father unto us. I want us to appreciate the love of the Father. You know, yes, we don't see the Lord God Almighty with our eyes, but we can appreciate the working of his Spirit in our lives. The eternal Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father. Another important uh, description of the Holy Spirit you will find in the scriptures is that the Holy Spirit is omniscient. Hmm. Remember, I want to call your attention uh, um, uh, to our study on the nature of God. If you have not uh, listened to that video, you can go to YouTube or Facebook and check our, uh, our study on the nature of God. One of the natures of the Lord that we examined was that the Lord is omniscient. And the Lord wants us to understand today that the Holy Ghost is omniscient. Remember, we explored that the Lord is omniscient, the Lord is omniscient, the Lord is omnipotent. So when you are talking about omniscient, it means that the Holy Spirit has maximal knowledge. Mm. He has maximal knowledge. Hey, Mama Koromo Zengende, I want to speak to you right now. I want to gladden your heart. This message is coming from the Lord. I just want to bring it together so that somebody will have a joyful heart right now. Do you know why the enemy has not succeeded in destroying several children of God? Even you, when the enemy conspires against you, the spirit of God will now whisper to you and say, daughter, son, there is conspiracy in the kingdom of darkness hmm. because he is omniscient. And the kingdom of darkness will be saying, how is it that this man of God escaped danger? Did you hear that? 
Did you get that information from the Lord? How is it that this daughter of God escaped danger? Who told him? And they'll say, oh, the spirit of God in him told him he has been sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Hear the word of the Lord, children of God. This is one of the benefits of getting closer to the Holy Ghost. You will appreciate that the Holy Ghost is omniscient. Many believers have died prematurely. I want you to hear the word of the Lord. Many believers have died prematurely because they have not learned how to be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. If they had listened to the Holy Ghost paraventure, the trip that they undertook, that took their lives would not have been taken care of. They would have just said, okay, I'm not going because the Spirit of God, you know, he ministered to me, son, wait for one more day, wait for two more days. I want you to hear that. Maybe in your place of work, you open your mouth so open, so wide every time. From today, if you are sensitive to the Holy Ghost, he will tell you when to speak and when not to speak. And because of that, you will now learn intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Because the problem is that we don't give the Holy Ghost a chance. And it has pleased the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost for me to deliver the mind of God to you today. The mind of the Lord is that my children, I am alive. I am God. That's the word of the Holy Spirit. I am omniscient. Can you draw closer to me for me to reveal to you mighty things you don't even know? Both in spiritual warfare, both in Christian living, both in your day-to-day -day interaction with your colleagues. When you don't draw closer to the Holy Ghost, you miss a lot of things. He's omniscient. The word of the Lord confirms this in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. But God had revealed them unto us, you see. He is the spirit of revelation. He reveals to us because he's omniscient. But God had revealed, unto, uh, revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searched all things, yea, the deep things of God. You see what I was saying? The Holy Ghost knows the deep things of God. The Holy Ghost knows the plot of kingdom of darkness in hell. The Holy Ghost is aware of the evil conspiracy in the water kingdom. When all the marine demons in the water realm are plotting against you, servant of God, are plotting against you, child of God, they want to send their agents to destroy you. The word of the Lord says, the spirit of the Lord searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. That's why the kingdom of God, and the kingdom of God has been revealed in the lives of men. And the Lord is bringing this revelation today that my children, when you understand the omniscient nature of the Holy Ghost, the enemy cannot just take you on our The problem is that many children of God, they don't pray. They don't fast. They don't want to draw closer to the Father by the uh, uh, help of his spirit. We are almost there. Two more subtopics and we pray. Are you ready? This, the, the second to the last uh, um, information is that the Holy Spirit is eternal. In the scriptures, you can see him being described as eternal. He is known as the eternal spirit of the Father, eternal spirit of the Son of God. Let's read the word of the Lord. The book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit, mm -hmm, the Lord Jesus through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. The spirit of God is eternal. He lived from eternity to eternity. Hallelujah. The last soft section. The spirit of the Lord is the spirit of glory and of God. Hallelujah. He is the spirit of glory and of God. 
please check your uh, open your Bible to the book of um, First Peter chapter four verse uh, fourteen. Let's check this together before we pray. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. He is the spirit of glory. Remember, in our revival series, I just want to close up with this as our conclusion. In our revival series that we have every Friday night by 9 p.m. Eastern Time, United States Time, I have been informing all of us that the purpose of revival is one thing. The purpose of revival is that the Lord wants to show forth his glory, period. He wants his glory to be revealed in the lives of his children. And uh, when this glory that has been revealed in the lives of his children must have started internal working of the Lord's power in their lives. This glory will move through the children of God to their communities. And now their communities will be on fire for the Lord. Because when the glory of God fills a man, the glory of God goes out of that man to be a blessing both to the church, both to the community, and the nation at large. But when we don't allow the glory of God to saturate us by allowing the Holy Spirit to take full control of our lives, revival will be tarring. That will be another discussion another day. If you want to hear much about that, just don't miss our Friday night revival programs by 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Beloved, I just want to um, tell you this thing before we pray. The Holy Ghost is more than willing to reveal deep things of God to us. But what the Lord is saying is, I need people that are willing, people that can pay the price, People that will say, Lord, I want to know more about you. The spirit of the Lord, you are Lord over my life. I surrender my life to you today. I want to know more about your workings. I don't want to be ignorant. I don't want to be someone that the enemy can just uh, uh, cheat and I'll just go by the motion like that. I want to know what you are speaking every time. And when you desire like that, the Lord will now respond to you. I am able to do exceedingly above your own request according to my power, the power of the Holy Ghost that works in you. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we hallow your name again. We praise your holy name. We thank you for this revelation you have given to us through your word about the person of the Holy Spirit. Father, for with man it seems impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Lord, we call upon you to have mercy upon us. First of all, we confess our sins that has made us not to draw closer to the Holy Ghost. Eternal Father, we pray today as we open to the Holy Ghost, let your spirit fill our hearts. Let your spirit transform us. Let the attribute of the Holy Ghost be seen in our lives. Let us be what you have ordained that we should be. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved, thank you for the time you have brought out today to share the word of the Lord with us today. I look forward to seeing you next Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, United States of America. God bless you. And uh, have a nice week. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed by this message. Please join us every Friday for our revival prayer meeting and on Sunday for our Bible study. You can also follow us on Facebook as Lovers of Jesus Ministries in Connection. For prayers and fan studies, please call plus 147054017684. You can also visit us on our website www.ljmi.net. Remain blessed. Jesus is coming soon. Long night is past. The morning breaks at last. And hushed the dreadful wail